Taking example from Malaysia, when we move forward towards achieving excellence uh, in asset management, it's a long journey, I can say. First, you need to identify your asset. You need to do asset cleansing. When I talk about asset cleansing, we have to ensure that our asset is being planted as per standards and as per specification. Then we need to have an asset registry where we have this historical data in terms of, for example, the year of service, uh, how many times it's been maintained, for example, uh, loading, for example, and, and also the condition of the health index of the asset. And from there, we will be able to determine the cost, the performance, and the risk base on the asset. And we are, when we are talking about new asset that is being planted, that would be a very good scenario for us to uh, start in our asset info or data collection. In order to have a consistent asset management practice internally, all of the workforce need to understand what is the objective of asset management so that they can work, activities can be coordinated and also we can have a systematic asset management practice. And secondly, if you are going somewhere towards the future, then those people working in the distribution network or the work being done should also be upgraded. For example, I'm talking about our contractors. There are some tips that I can give to you. For example, the, we need to have, uh, choose the contractors, select them to be qualified in order to engage in the work that's not, that needs to be done in, in uh, improving the performance of our asset. Secondly, the tools and equipment. We need to specify to them what are the tools and equipment that are right to be used for them in order to have an efficient work uh, being done in the system. Thirdly, we need to be able to train our, our contractors because the level of skills need to be upgraded so that they can also upgrade their professionalism. And lastly, they have to understand that in any contract, if they are unable to perform, there will be penalty being imposed on them. And from this, we will be able to upgrade the professionalism of our contractors because they are the ones who are doing the job for us to ensure that our asset is performing way uh, above the, our expectations.